Mm. Good morning, my friends. How we doing? Welcome back. Let me fix my mic. Yeah. So, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well. We just had a wonderful breathing session if you're watching this live. And we are going to have a wonderful movement session, workout session today. Uh, so it's going to be really nice. We're going to focus on balance today. Um, yesterday was really a breather, giving the aerobic system going, lots of blood flow. And uh, hey there, good morning, Judy. So good to see you back. Uh, but today we'll be working on balance. And as you all know, I'm a big stickler for balance and being able to control the body as best we can. Uh, just looking over the notes here from yesterday, looks like you guys are doing very well. Faye, doing very well. You were at the sewing machine for two hours, but the workout loosened you up. So really like hearing that. Claudia, balance is getting better. Enjoyed working on the legs and calves and thighs. Okay, very good. Ramona, welcome to the group, your first time. And, uh, and you felt relief in your sciatic region. So I love hearing that. And welcome to the group, Ramona. Um, so really good to see you guys in here. Um, so Marina, you're still having some pain in that right hip stretch. Uh, so that we, we've kind of identified the right hip is weak and it seems to be a little painful. So it's good to keep doing these exercises, but something that may help also is if Marina, if you go back to the unit section, you'll see we have a hip pain fix and there are, are more specific exercises that you can do for your hip to help you out. So all you guys, if you have something going on, Go to the unit section, you're going to find a program for your specific body part, and you can do those in conjunction with these. So good morning, Kira. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, Amy did well. Thank you so much. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Marina, we're going to keep working on that balance too. It takes time, but we just want to do the best we can and always challenge it. Over time, the brain understands where the body is. Raylene doing very good. 10 right now. Puppy's happy in a better mood. All right, good. I love seeing you guys happy and moving around and feeling good. So really good stuff. So... Like I mentioned, today we're going to start with just some general looseness, getting the flow moving, and then we're going to work on some balance and, uh, and even some posture stuff. So if you have a band, if you have a band that's not tied, not looped, that's what will be helpful today for the star drills that we're doing. You don't have to do that. I'm going to show you, a, have to have a, a band. I'm going to show you a sub if you don't have that. Good morning, Sherry. Welcome. Um, and also, if you do want to order one, just go to Amazon, do a search for TheraBand, T-H-E-R-A-B-A-N-D. Get a yellow one and a, and a red one, and they'll get sent right to you. But these are good things that are good to have around you uh, while, we're, while we're working out. We can do a lot of things with this. So, everybody ready? Give me one of these. I'm going to take a sip of my Lion's Mane coffee here. Oh, it's not coffee. It's more like tea, but... It's got MCT and collagen in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and stand up. We're just going to do a general loose warm-up here and get things going. So let's start. Actually, I'm going to start. <clears throat> you can go ahead and stand up. I'm going to be here so you can see me. But let's go ahead and start with the neck, just looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up, down, up. Try to get your chin all the way to your sternum there, or your chest. Good, just nice and easy. You might hear some pops and some cricks and some clack cracks. And if you can, try to retract back as you look up. So it'll be like this. Nice and easy. Right, let's see if you can look all the way up. If you can't, that's okay. Just express that range of motion. Good. And now, let's look left, look right. Look left and right. And breathe easy as you're doing this. Not necessarily in through the nose or out through the mouth like the more intense exercises. This is just steady, easy, gentle movements. Make sure you're nice and tall. Please do this in standing if you can or sitting upright in a chair. But do not be slouching. It's really important that you get the spine as straight and as tall as possible when we're doing these neck exercises. It's also important that we do neck exercises. Okay, and let's take the ear to the shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Nice and easy. Try to think about reaching the head outwards. Nice and easy to the side. Stretching lots of muscles, but also improving that side bending, really important. 
Okay, now take a neck down and just do a big circle. Kind of looking around all over the place. Nice and gentle. Remember, stay tall. Again, you might hear some funny things going on in the neck. Just stay in a pain-free zone. The sounds are okay. You're breaking through a lot of restrictions, expressing a lot of range of motion here. It's not normally expressed. And let's go the other way, other direction. Nice and gentle. Good spinal hygiene. Okay, very good. And let's take the wrist. Nice thick circles here. Go one direction. Everybody needs to move those wrists. We've got generations of typing and texting and all that stuff. We don't want carpal tunnel or anything like that. Now let's go the other way. Both ways. Same thing here. You may hear some cricks and some cracks, but that's just moving things around, getting synovial fluid into those joints, lubricating those joints. Now let's take our hands, clench our fingers. Nice circles here. Good hygiene exercises. Go the other way. Okay, hands together, elbows down, up, down, up, down. Try to keep the base of the hands pressing against each other and see if you can go even further into it every time. You're expressing extension in the wrist, right there. Good, nice and easy. And now go down, keep the fingers together, take the palms out, right here. So this is stretching the hands. Be gentle with it, extending those fingers that are always flexing, restoring that range of motion, that natural range of motion that should be there, shouldn't be tight, but lots of the tendons, the fascia, in our culture we're always flexing, so that can be very tight and this opens that up. Helps reduce carpal tunnel syndrome, helps keep you healthy. Now let's take the palms up, away, pointing away from you, elbows stay straight, you can feel that nerve stretch right there, right? You're stretching your nerves that connect to your neck. Take your left ear to left shoulder very gently and then come up. We'll do that five times. Two, three, four. Good morning, Lena. Good to have you here. Two, three, keep them up. Keep the elbows straight. Right ear to right shoulder. Nice here. Good, one, two, three, four, five, good. Take the elbows, one, two, one, two. Big circles, this one's kind of fun. Yeah, so we're expressing lots of different range of motion here, flexion, extension, but also getting rotation in the elbows. You've got this radius that rotates over this ulnar bone. We have to express that. Good, get those joints moving. Good morning, Anna, good to see you here. Lots of hearts, big hugs. Okay, good, I'm gonna stand up. And now, let's go ahead and do big circles, so palms up, turning to one side, facing one direction. And when the arm's up at the top, turn the body, face the other direction, paint the brush with the palm going down behind you. So from the side, palm up, looking to the left, if we're using our right arm. At the very top, turn all the way to the other direction, paint the brush, Palm down. Let's do three more. Up, up, up. Lock the legs straight. Squeeze the glutes. Turn at the top. Point down. Up, up, up. Turn, 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 turn. Point down. One more. Up, up, up. Turn, 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 turn. Back down. Left side. Palm up. Looking to the right. At the very top, turn. Look to the left all the way. Paint the brush, palm down behind you. Big circle with the arm. Up, up, up. Turn, turn, turn. Paint behind you. Coming down, good. Up, up, up. Turn, turn, turn. Paint the brush behind you. Come down. Two more. Up, up, up. Turn, turn, turn. Paint the brush behind you. Come down. One more. Look all the way to the left. All the way to the right. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Paint the brush behind you. Look down, good. Let's take one arm up, diagonal pattern. So take the left arm up, use the right arm. Think about the right pocket, taking something from here, throwing it over your left shoulder, keeping the left arm up. So with a diagonal rotation, 
opens up that scapula, allows you to express global rotation, thoracic rotation, to that left side, fixes that slouch posture. Good, remember, exhale as you throw. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Other side, right arm up, using the left arm, and throwing. Keep that arm up. One more. Good. Take the hands, make a fist, feet forward, just wider than the hips, elbows up. Bring the feet, bring the chest in so you're pulling. Slight rotations. Exhaling as you go to the side. Stay tall in the spine. Don't slouch the spine. Just a slight bend in the knees. You're lifting up that back foot as you rotate. Good. Now let's take the hands behind the hips and extending. Exhaling as you extend, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Put the hands right behind the hips, just leaning back. Sending that spine in the other direction from when we sit, when we slouch, restoring that natural range of motion. Go to your end range as far as you can. Good. Now take the hands on the hips here, big circles. Feet are just under the, under the hips, pointing forward, big circles. Imagine you're taking the hips and painting the inside of a barrel with a brush with your hips. Big circles. This really opens up the hip, stretches the IT, IT band a bit, opens up a lot of things. Breathe nice and easy when you're doing this and go to the other direction. Good, nice and easy. And this is a good general warm up for, for joint health. It's always good that we express range of motion in those joints. If you don't use it, you lose it. So that this routine here is a good way to pretty much get everything that you functionally need. Good, and let's take the feet together, hands to the side of the knees, slight bend right here, and you're gonna make a rotation. Little circles here with your knees. Keep the hands on the side of the knees, go one direction, just nice and easy. Loosen up those knees and the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Take the foot up. You can hold onto a chair. Do circles. Ten, one direction. Nice, slow, thick movements. Other direction. One, two, three, four. Hold on to something if you need it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Other side. Foot up and circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's work on some balance here. So <clears throat> just kind of warm up some balance. You can, again, you have a chair to the side of you if you need it. So you'll be, we'll be balancing on our right leg. You put the chair on the right side, or if you want to stand next to something like a couch like this right here, if you feel up to it, then go ahead and be in free space like I am. So we're going to balance on our right leg and imagine a clock around you here on this left side. So we have 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, six o'clock. Let's balance on our right leg, take the left leg, touch 12 o'clock, come back, touch 10.30, come back, touch nine o'clock, come back, touch 7.30, come back, touch six o'clock, come back, good. Again, 12 o'clock, back, 10.30, back, nine, back, 7.30, back, six o'clock. And try to stay over your right leg. Don't come forward 
or to the side, okay? So again, 12 o'clock, back. 10.30, back. 9 o'clock, back. <laughs> 6 o'clock, back. 7.30, 6 o'clock, back. 12 o'clock, back. 10.30, back. 9 o'clock, back. 7.30, back. 6 o'clock, back. One more, 12 o'clock, back. 10.30, back. 9 o'clock, back. 7.30, back. 6 o'clock, back. Good. Switching legs here. Same thing other side. So now move the chair over to the left or just turn around in the other direction. We're going to do the same thing, balancing on the left. We're going to take the right leg, 12 o'clock, back. 1.30, back. 3 o'clock, back. 4.30, back. 6 o'clock, back. 12, back. 1.30, back. 3 o'clock, back. 4.30, back. 6 o'clock, back, stay right over it, 12 o'clock, back, 1.30, back, 3 o'clock, back, 4.30, back, 6 o'clock, back, 12, back, 1.30, try not to let the hip dip, 3 o'clock, back, 4.30, back, 6 o'clock, back, one more, 12 o'clock, back, 1.30, back, 3 o'clock, back, 4.30, back, 6 o'clock, back. All right, let's come in here. How are we doing? Good to see you, Denise. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody feeling that warm up? Okay, so again, for the workout here, we're going to do three rounds of, of lunges, uh, thoracic extension, hip circles, which we've only done once, and then star drills if you have your band. Please get that ready, something not looped. I'm going to show you a substitute with the shoulder pinches if you can't do that, so it's okay. So let's go ahead and stand on up and let's go over the lunge here real quick. So with the lunge, we're going to be in a standing position, just like so. And you're just going to take one step and then go dip down. And then from here, you're going to push back. Okay, other leg, take a step forward, dip down and push back. And now try to blend the dip down and the step at the same time. So step, dip back, step, back. And go down to a comfortable depth for you. So some of you it may just be a short step and a small dip pushing back. Others, it may be a big step and go all the way down. You can go all the way down to your knee if you want to, but make sure that front foot stays balanced. Right? Don't let that front knee translate too far past the foot. So do this with me here. It's just a nice, easy step, dip. Nice, easy step, dip. Nice, easy step, dip. Keep the spine straight, hands to the side or on the hips. Working on single leg here. Small dip, back. Back leg, the heel lifts up. Good. Two more on each side. Nice and easy. This is an easy way to get a great workout with no equipment. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do thoracic extension. So standing, feet directly under the hips, hands behind the head, bring the elbows forward, squeeze the glutes, lock the legs straight, take the elbows to the ceiling as far as you can, squeeze the glutes and back down one. Two, exhaling as you go back. Keep the glutes squeezed, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. Good. And now, if you have the chair next to you again, hold on to it. We're going to do hip circles. So what you're going to do is balance on the right leg, take the left leg, and you're making, going to make a circle where you kick forward, bring the knee up and back, up and back. From the side, you're taking the leg back, kicking up and back, kicking up and back. Again, use the chair for balance if you have to. Three, good. Four. Five, 
six, seven, eight. Think of you're lifting your knee where you're getting your foot over a fence, right? Good, other side, same thing. Left side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Take your band. If you don't have a band, you're gonna do a, a shoulder pump. So you're gonna take your shoulders, take the palms, take the thumbs pointing behind you, hands to the side, and pinch your shoulder blades together, okay? The entire time we're doing this. If you don't have a band, if you do have a band, grab it like so. Keep the tension on the band. Lock the legs straight. Feet under the hips, squeeze the glutes. Go not to the side. Come back slow. Keep the tension on the band. One arm goes up, one arm goes down. Come back slow. Other side, switching, making a star. Come back slow. One, good. We're gonna do five rounds. Nice and easy, keep the elbows straight. Nice, slow movements. Good, that's two. If you have to take a break on the shoulder pulses, if you're doing that, that's okay. Just hang in there, but see if you can go the whole time. So we keep those muscles under tension, really work in posture with this exercise. Good, let's do one more. One, two, three. You can play with the tension to make it more tense or less tense, depending on how close your hands are. Let's go to second round, get to those lunges. Light step forward, dip, push back. Remember, dip and step at the same time is an ideal lunge, dip and stepping. Just to your comfort zone is where we wanna be, and just work on it. Keep the balance in the feet. Make sure that knee doesn't translate past the foot. The shin stays fairly vertical. You're just doing a nice little dip. Nothing big. And again here, you can hold on to a chair, have something to support you. That's completely okay. We're just working single leg balance here. So important. Remember, stay nice and upright. It's really about your balance and your position that makes the lunge the lunge. If anything, keep the weight in the back third of your foot that steps. So really think about putting weight in that heel. Nice and easy. Today's all about balance. Good, coming back, hands behind the head, interlacing the fingers, elbows forward, locking the legs straight, squeeze the glutes, elbows to the ceiling, extend. Inhale, extend, inhale, extend, inhale, extend. Keep the glutes squeezed as you extend up. Make sure all the movement's coming from the thoracic region, not the low back, and just do the best you can. You may not be able to extend much. Over time, it gets better. Remember to keep drinking water. Get some lubrication in those joints. Add a little pinch of salt in there. You guys are doing great. Movement is the key. Movement is life. All right, very good. Now getting back to the hip circles, holding a chair if you have to. We're gonna be balancing on the right. And just a little kick with the left. Bring the knee up, make a circle. One, two, good. Try to stay right over that right leg with as little movement as possible. From the side, keep it going on your own. Good, lots of things happening here with the hip. And just do the best you can using support if you need it. Two more, one, two, good, left side. Balancing on the left, little circles with the right. Kicking, lifting up, one, two, Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's pick up our bands again. 
Going back to the star drills, if you don't have the band, go right into the shoulder pulses. Again, so band, keep the tension. Can you make it a little more tense this time? Out to the side, back slow. Diagonal, back slow. Switch, back slow. One, good. Elbows stay straight, you stay tall. Make sure you keep the tension on the band the whole time. Two, so good for your posture. Elbows stay straight. Out to the side. First diagonal. Second diagonal. Just breathe easy here. In through your nose, out through your nose. You can use your mouth to exhale a little bit if you want. But really this is all about keeping the tension on those muscles that help improve your posture and your shoulders and your rotator cuff. Although we're not using much with the rotator cuff here, we're using lots of muscles that support the shoulder and decrease the stress on the rotator cuff. So everything's connected. Last one. Good, okay, last round of lunges. Let's be nice and strong here. Nice small step and dip and back. Step and dip and back. Good, step and dip and back. Keep the spine upright, not leaning forward, not leaning forward, spine upright. Good, chest up, looking forward. Don't look down, just feel the balance in your feet. Small step and dip, small step and dip. If it's uncomfortable, take an even smaller step and an even more shallow dip. Just find where you're at, but just get the moving. Everybody can take a step and a dip. Step and a dip. Step and a dip, chest up. Balance in the feet. Good. Make sure that knee is tracking over the second toe when you step. You're getting that hip engaged, that stepping. All that work we've been doing on hip, uh, strengthening up the external rotators of the hip pays off in that stability, good. Okay, thoracic extensions. Standing tall, feet under the hips, lock the legs straight, squeeze the glutes, hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, elbows forward, squeezing up to the ceiling, up, 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 squeeze, 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 back down, inhale. Exhale, up, 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 two, three, Keep the glutes squeezed. Get that extension in the thoracic spine. You guys are doing good. Very good. Five more. One, see how far you can go. Keep the glutes squeezed. Two. Three. Four. Five, good, hip circles. Balance it on one leg, use the chair if you have to. We'll start on the right, moving the left leg. Nice, easy circles. One, two, three, four. Good, try to keep the hips squared forward if you can. Just slightly rotating to the side. Nice and easy. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, good, other side. Bouncing on the left, moving the right, kicking forward. One, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, picking up the band one last time for our star drill. If you don't have the band, go back to the shoulder pulses. Get a good tension on there, elbows forward, standing straight, locking the glutes, <laughs> locking the legs straight, squeezing the glutes, hands to the side, back slow. One, one arm up, one arm down. Good, rotating. Keep the tension on the band, keep the tension in the glutes, keep those contracted. Nice and tall in the spine. So good for your posture. All those muscles that hold you up in the upper back, 
This helps decrease headaches, decrease shoulder pain, keeps you strong so you can always do what you want to do, get dressed, put things in the top cabinet. So important. Scratch your head. <laughs> this is the little things. Good. Let's do one more round here. Nice and slow. Keep the tension on there. Good. And switching last one. Good. <clears throat> okay. We're going to do one minute of shaking here before we close out with heaven, holding up heaven, pressing down earth. One minute of shaking. Nice and easy. Just loosening up and go. Loosening up the fingers, relaxing the face. Nice easy bounces. Just be gentle here today. Not shaking too fast or too hard. Just be gentle. Today was all about balance and just getting some fluid, some movement in every single joint in our body. You guys did really good. Been having a really good week. Very good. Make some noises if you have to. Big breaths. Just get everything moving. Noodle arms, noodle feet. Let those fingers shake with your balance. Just bouncing up and down. Nice and easy. 15 more seconds. Doing good, guys. Doing real good. Five more seconds. Okay, now interlace your fingers. We're gonna do holding up heaven, bring them towards your chest. Now go up, palms facing towards the ceiling, feet under you. You're gonna sniff and lift to one side. Exhale, come back, sniff and lift to the other. Stay forward. Nice and gentle. This is working the ascending and descending colon. Good for digestion. Good for your nerves as well. So we're extending the wrist, opening up the nerves and the arms through a, that come through the neck. Good, and let's take the interlaced fingers down, palms down, press to the floor. We're gonna bend and then bounce to the side. You're gonna have a half circle in front of you. Just imagine a ball between your stomach and your thigh. You're just giving nice, easy bounces with those interlaced fingers, palms pressing to the ground. Nice and easy. <sighs> Exhaling as you go downward with your bounce. One more half circle there and back. And last round, keep the fingers interlaced, bring them up, 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 up. Point the palms to the ceiling again. Sniff and lift, holding up heaven. Good, try to calm down the breathing, calm down the intensity of your movement. Nice and easy. Relax your face, slow everything down. Nice, easy breaths. Nice, easy, relaxed face. And real easy, bring the hands together, palms down, all the way again, one last round pressing down earth, small little bounces there and back in a half circle in front of you. time there and back.
Put your hands over your heart. Big inhale. Hold. Exhale. Good, guys. Awesome. So before you go, um, just one little reminder here. Today we are releasing our Native Defense Immune Boosting Formula. So if you are interested in that, it's only available to people in the private group here and people who signed up, uh, I think, two months prior when we announced this. Uh, but just let Rachel know. Just put capital Native Defense, all caps, Native Space Defense. And then that'll alert Rachel that later this afternoon you're interested. She'll provide a link to your comments and you guys can be one of the first ones to get it. But it has six immune boosting. Uh, <laughs> every, it's so good, guys. It's like rather than taking vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, zinc, elderberry, uh, quercetin, uh, all separately, you can just take it in one single capsule. And this, along with eating well, getting sun, sleeping well, de-stressing yourself with a breathing course, moving well with this workout course, is going to arm you um, very, very well in, in this new reality that we're in. So we're super, super excited to share this with you guys. Just put all caps, Native Defense. Um, as always, I love uh, leaving you guys with some inspiration. And this one comes from uh, Lao Tzu, who uh, wrote the Tao Te Ching over 2,500 years ago. It's fantastic. Um, so here's, here's the quote. When you are content to simply be yourself and don't compare or compete, everyone will respect you. You know, just like, I think that's so important. Just trust yourself. Just know who you are. And that is the most powerful thing. And that's, that's where the respect comes from. People appreciate other people being themselves, not comparing, not imitating, just being you because you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're outstanding. So thank you guys so much for being in the community. Um, one, one last request. Yesterday I mentioned it, uh, but if you have a testimonial, you can share about your progress in this group. Um, you know, what, what, what improvements you've seen from it. Uh, we would really appreciate that. So that would, that would involve you making your own post in the community, not, not a comment, not a testimony here in the comment section, but your own post and using the hashtag my native workout. We'd appreciate a picture of you, a short story of, of what that's done, but that helps us um, inspire others to be a part of this course and join in because we're trying to get people moving and improve their immune systems and get out of pain naturally. So thank you guys so much for your help. Again, that's hashtag my native workout. I look forward to seeing um, all the good, good, good stories you guys have to share. So thank you, Lena. Thank you, Marina. Balance is still off, but improving. Native Defense. All right. I love it, Kim. So thank you guys so much. Again, Native Defense. Just let Rachel know. She'll get you a link this afternoon. Uh, but you guys are doing great. I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day wherever you are. Okay. Bye-bye.